Welcome everyone to another Reboots episode. In this video we will talk about the Atom Stack X7 Pro. We will try to test its capabilities to cut and engrave 1mm transparent acrylic sheet. Nothing special, this was bought on Amazon. So to test this, we will use Lightburn, and we will make a template to test the power and speed. I don't know if you guys have done this before, but first we create a square, and then with this square we create a matrix. Each square will have individual values and characteristics. So let's start off with the square. And here, as you can see, I make a 4x4 square. And now I select the tool matrix. Well, first we select the square. And now we can replicate it by selecting the tool matrix. Let's make a 10x10 matrix. So we will have 100 squares with different values. So here we input the number of columns, 10 columns. And now the rows, 10 rows. And now, uh, depending on the laser, you might need them to spread them out. So let's uh, work with that. Uh, not, too, not too close to each other because the laser, it gets very hot and sometimes it melts the materials. So now we have our canvas, which is this matrix. And in this matrix, we will need to know uh, the elements and the units. So let's see. Let's create a text with like the speed, which will be in millimeters per minute, and then uh, the power on the other side. So on the top, we will put power, and then each column will represent a 10% increase in power. And then on the left hand side, we'll use the change in speed. So how long the laser will stay on that square. The speed uh, will increase uh, on a hundred fold. So the first square will be a hundred and the last square will be a thousand. If you already know how to do this, uh, you can skip the video a bit further on. If not, just follow the steps and copy what I'm doing. To create the percentages, uh, we can use the matrix tool again. And instead of like uh, making rows, just duplicate the columns. As you can see, I put the 10%, then double click it and select it. Once I select it, select the matrix tool again, and then duplicate it 10 times. And now we just need to change the text. Now we'll do the same with the uh, speed. Uh, so bear with me because uh, we need some time to change these values. So let's change the values one by one. There's no better shortcut than doing this. <laughs> So now that we have the power, uh, let's change into the speed. Now let's select the speed and copy the text to change it. And here we go. Copy the text, uh, duplicate it. And now that we duplicate it, we can do the same uh, thing. So 100 on the first square. And now we use the matrix tool and uh, duplicate it. We'll have to do 10 rows and may probably make it a bit uh, shorter. Yeah, there we go. And now we change individually, 100, 200, 300, and the last one, 1000. Now we have our template, but this template is only in one layer. So to change every characteristic in every square, what we will need to do is uh, isolate every row into one layer. Oh, while I was talking, uh, everything changed black because instead of being just uh, contours, just lines, I changed it into fill everything. So now, like I said, in each layer, we will change the speed. And then for the values of the power, we'll change the column uh, individually. So in each layer, uh, as you can see, I am changing the speed. And uh, to differentiate better the layers, I will change the colors of each layer. So uh, bear with me a little bit and let's go one by one. Select all the squares, change the color. Also, uh, to make it faster, I change the filling into just the contour again. Because then I realized uh, it would take two hours to make this video and I didn't have that much time. So let's change every single layer the line, and now the column. Let's select all the column. To do the columns, you don't need to make any layers. You just go into the properties, and this 
I'll overwrite the properties of each layer. So let's change the property for the power. Let's make the 10% and respectively each uh, column 20%, 30%, and so on. After we set up uh, all of the right speed and amount of power, we can test this. So let's go over uh, every single configuration. As you can see, if I select every single square, it will have uh, different values of power. And then if we go on every single row, it will have different speed. Now remember that the first layer is just a uh, text. So we will have to change the interval of lines into the inches to make a better image contour. So we can preview this uh, by selecting the icon on the top, which is the screen. And here uh, we will see how long it will take and how it will go the laser and engrave everything. Let's transfer this data to the laser. Let's go into the home position. And I will put in an aluminum block because uh, the acrylic is transparent and it can actually engrave the surface beneath the acrylic. So to do this trial, uh, we'll put uh, some material that won't burn. You can put wood actually, but uh, I prefer this metal because the metal will dissipate the heat. And now we need to also remember that we need to le leave uh, two millimeters between the surface contact that you want to engrave and the laser. So I will use this uh, two millimeter uh, sample wood that came with the laser. And now we'll try to test uh, the working area. So roughly I'm trying to put it where the laser works. And to actually be more precise, you will have to shift and select frame. Right now we're just selecting frame and as you can see, there's no laser coming out. But if you press the shift uh, key on your keyboard, you will be able to use a low power laser beam and it will actually frame the working area better because you will be able to see where it will be working. So now let's start engraving. Uh, this is the first test. Um, in this test, uh, we didn't paint a acrylic, so it's transparent. And you know, with transparent things, it's very difficult to engrave. Let me show you. As you can see, you can kind of make a some of the parts because we know what we try to make but uh, this is just uh, bad really bad it this is due to the fact that uh, it's high power and very slow and you can see where it actually burned but to make things uh, easier what we, you will need to do is use just uh, a random marker just uh, a marker for like a uh, whiteboard is just enough uh, to make sure, you can also uh, color the both sides, and it'll probably work better than engraving. So let's make this uh, second test. Uh, due to the speed and the high power, uh, the acrylic actually bent. So after dragging it around, uh, you can see here it tried to cut it, but it just melt, and the acrylic is bent. Uh, let's clean up the the marker. So once we we clean up the whiteboard marker and uh, we can see there is some engraving and in the last few rows it started dragging and going out of the template so let's redo this last test which uh, kind of works but uh, following the recommendations in the table that the manual of the printer brought so let's limit the power to 25 percent and make the speed a bit faster so instead of incrementing 100 Let's increment from 1000 to 3000. So after following these recommendations, we can see an actual good result. Try to follow the recommendations of the tables and go up a bit and down a bit of the recommendations. Don't start doing like we started on a random uh, speed or power. Because if this had been uh, some type of wood that catches fire, uh, it could have caught a fire very quickly. So let me show you how it ended up. Uh, you can see it marked uh, and engraved the acrylic. And in some parts, uh, you couldn't even uh, get rid of like the marker. Uh, we are not sure if it's because it uh, burned into 
the plastic or why it did that but you will need to test it and see if that works for you so let's do one last engraving following uh, the recommendations in the manual um, although we reduce a bit of the speed as you can see where we mark it with a marker pen uh, you can see there's some engraving and on the right side in the transparent it didn't do anything it just melted the plastic thank you for watching this video and as always if you like this video please like and subscribe if you had any doubts, questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. Thank you and see you in the next video.